crazy framer here again in this video i'm going to show you how to build interior walls i have all these lines snapped on the floor for where my walls are going to go that's why i put these backings in the wall for my so they can drywall here and drywall here have something to screw to a lot of you asked me in my last video why i put this plastic on the wall that's because the insulators are going to poly the whole entire wall so i put this in so it'll run right through if i put the wall right against it they won't be able to run their poly through there and this house since it's so close to the other house it has to have this fire guard drywall in between the wall and this wall so that too has to run all the way through so i put this on so that once they put the fire guard drywall on this side it'll run the whole way through i have a lot of things to explain in this video so i might make it a two part so i think the first thing i'm going to do is build these three walls here they're all going to be the same length and then i got one long one that's going to go all the way here this long one i'll have to do it in two pieces so i'll start with these three check what they are got 111 and a half i'll go to the inside of this since this wall is going to come all the way through Just make sure it's the same over here should be Yep, yeah, 111 and a half. So I can build, cut three of those. There's two two by fours and this one's a two by six. Okay, I got these three plates cut. Now to lay them out. Same thing as the exterior walls. Wherever I have a wall coming in, I'll make my marks. It's kind of hard to see them. Like that. And I want to put the, the studs on top of the joists. So I know I have a joist right here. I'll put that one. And these joists are every 19.2 inches. So. The 19.2 marks are these diamonds. Those are what those diamonds are for. So I'm gonna put one there, here, here, and here. That's done. Now for my cap plate, I'm gonna have it hang over three and a half. So that when this wall comes in like this, this one's gonna hang over and then that's gonna tie it in nice. Same thing with here, it'll hang over like that. Same thing with that wall. Actually that one I didn't cut out because I had that joint so close, but that's why I cut those ones out. So I can hang my plate over and tie it in at the top. So I'll mark three and a half here because it's going to hang over three and a half inches. And here I'll just mark flush. And I can measure what these are going to be. 65. You can leave these a little short. You don't want them too tight. Uh, I'll go 45 and a half. And that wall is done. For this two by six wall, I'm only going to need the studs over top of the joists. And I'll mark six here because it's going to hang over six inches. And three and a half here. See what this is gonna be 111 and a half plus nine and a half so 121 and same thing on this wall
now for this closet I got these two plates cut this one's gonna be easy just stud on both sides three and a half over this way three and a half over this way top plate will be 31 and three quarters and for this one mark the top this is gonna have a French door two two foot French doors opening up <coughs> so my opening is gonna be four foot two four foot two wide by 83 inches tall so I want to center the door on the inside of the closet so I got 65 and a half so that would be 32 and three quarter that. yeah so the center of my door so my openings four foot one so take two foot one on the center mark my four foot two mark over there and go inch and a half inch and a half stud crippled stud on the end inch and a half inch and a half stud cripple this will be a stud and a two by four up square these up I'll put one here for the top and those are done just mark my six here let's see what this is 65 plus 6 71 and I'll build these two walls. Um, the door opening is 83 inches, so I cut the cripples at 81 and a half. It's four foot two wide, so I added three inches for the top header. Start running out of room here. Uh, I think I'm gonna build these two next. I'll build this wall here, 65 and 3 eighths, and then I'll build this one. I'm gonna come all the way to here, 140 and 7 eighths. Build them both over there and then I'll carry them over here. Yeah, this wall, same thing. I want to put the studs over the joists. So I got a joist right here. And 
whenever you're 19 two inches. And one on the end. Hangs over six, hangs over three and a half. So add nine and a half to like 65 and three eighths. about 75. I want to keep it a little less than that. This one out, the same thing. Mark this wall there, this wall here. Gonna have a two foot six door right here coming right off the end. Mark my stud cripple. The opening for a two six door, my rough opening needs to be two foot eight. You add two inches to the regular door. And then this wall I'm gonna lay out on two foot centers since it's not on top of any joists. I'll just put one here and then add two by six up. One more here and that's good. This is gonna be a two by four down. This will be over five and a half. This will be 70. And this one will be in between these two. 68 and a half. I'll build it over there, stand it, and bring it in here. 